Hi, Lucas with Munster Grass Fed. Today I'm going to walk you through what we're doing today here. We decided to grain finish a few of our calves for custom processing here in Munster. And this is the grain we're using. This is grain sorghum, commonly known as Milo in most of Texas. It's a non-GMO grain. It has not been genetically modified yet, like corn, soybeans or cotton or many of the other grains and farm commodities that we grow today. This is our roller mill. It's powered by a 16-inch horsepower gasoline motor. This turns one wheel, one of the rollers, it's about a drum this big and about this wide that sits in here. The chain on the other side drives the opposing roller and together as they spin, to, spin together like this, the Milo falls through, gets squished between the rolls and cracked. Cracking the Milo improves digestibility and improves efficiencies of the Milo. Yes, the calves would gain weight on unrolled Milo, but it would not be as efficient. It would take more pounds to make the same pounds of meat. Okay, after the grain is milled, the Milo goes up the auger into the truck, and from there we'll put it into our feed tank. It comes up this auger from our storage tank here. This Milo was grown after a cover crop of hairy vetch. The hairy vetch is a legume. Grant spoke about it many times. It fixes nitrogen from the atmosphere in a symbiotic relationship with a bacteria that grows on its roots. This nitrogen becomes available after the vetch plant breaks down and it was available for our Milo crop, therefore allowing us to grow this Milo with no nitrogen fertilizer. Truly a sustainable practice in that. Now after these calves are finished, we hope that they'll taste as good, if not better, than beef raised in conventional feed yards on corn, on a corn diet. These calves are going to be in our pasture. They're going to have about an acre each to loaf and to graze. Most of their calories will come from the rolled Milo, however. Hopefully this will result in a white fat. If you've had our mustard gra grass fed before, you've noticed that the fat is yellowish tint because it has more carotene in it because of the carotenes growing that are naturally present in the grass. That's a vitamin A. The Milo does have a high level of carotene in it, vitamin A, because you can see the red holes on the Milo. But it is a more concentrated feed and we suspect that it'll lead to a yellow, I mean a white fat, excuse me. And a lot of people are used to a white fat. But we will see how these calves turn out in mid-July through October. If you'd like to place an order for one of our grain beds, we have slots available for October. Contact us at munstergrassfed.com. Thank you.